Okay, looks like this is not correct. Uh, let me verify this with you. This is uh, 16 x power 5 minus 144 x cube. Okay. Okay, first, uh, if we do some factorization, I'll, I'll write down the numbers in the factor form. Maybe can you can you mute from your side? I'm seeing some background sound. I'm getting some background sound. You can mute. Thank you. So I could see that uh, I can write down this in factor form. Uh, if I try to write down, uh, think of like a squared minus b squared. This is not a squared minus b squared, so I cannot uh, I cannot take the square root and uh, try to find out the a's and b's. So at, at least let me try to factorize this. Uh, I can write down this as four times of four times of and then multiply it by x power 5. And similarly, this 144, if I do it, I do side. This one is, okay. Uh, I know that it is 12 squared. So first I write down this, which means 12 into 12. And this can still be further factored. Uh, already I have 4 into 4. Let me see if I can bring it into the form. So this is 4 times of 3. And again 4 times of 3. Okay, so I can write down this as 4 into 4 into 3 into 3 into and then finally x power 3. This is correct, right? What I did. So then now you see here, uh, if you could see this one, I have 4 into 4 and I also have 4 into 4 here. And here I have x power 5, I have x power 3. So when you have common expert term from these two terms, what you have to do is you have to take the lowest power as a common. This is the lowest power out of these two, right? X power 5 and X power 3. The lowest power is X power 3. That, so that you can take common. So finally, uh, I, I can take 4 into 4 is 16. I can take 16 common as plus X power 3 common. Okay. Which means I've taken 16 here, X power 5. So x power 5 from x power 5 it's basically like you have to divide from x power 5 i have to divide the x power 3 because 16 4 into 4 16 i have taken care so even if you do that let's let's say i, I already have 16 x this is nothing but 16 x power 5 if i divide this by again 16 x power 5 these two will get cancelled so i don't have to put any number i have to take care only of the powers so balance the remaining will be the remaining term will be x squared and similarly if i have taken 4 into 4 16 i have taken common x power 3 common then finally i have 9 okay 3 into 3 is 9 so which means this will remain as it is 16 x cube i will not have to do anything this is again a squared minus b squared so which gets simplified as x plus 3 because here this is uh, x uh, 3 squared and x minus 3 so this is the final factor form uh yeah you you are you, you are correct only okay what you did is also correct but I will I will tell you how to bring it to this form. Okay, this is what you have written, right? So I put the x cube as it is. Now can you see 4 is common from these two terms? I have 4x and I have 12 here. 12 is basically nothing but 4 times of 3, right? So I write down this as 12, I write down as 4 into 3. Okay. This is for the this term. And similarly for the other term, I can write down this as 4x minus of 4 into 3. Okay, so this is going to be, I can take 4 common from these two terms. I have 4 common, I have 4 here, I have 4 here. So which means, similarly, I have 4 here and 4 here. Which means I can take 1, 4 common from these two, this, this bracket. So 1, 4 will come up, it will come in front. And similarly, this 4, from these two terms, if I take 1, 1 4, I will get another 4. I will put this in front and I attach it to the x cube. I already have this x cube. And what will be left out here if I take in the 4? I'll be left out with x plus 3. Okay. And here I'll be left out with x minus 3. So this then finally this is equal to 4 into 4 is 16x cubed. So what you did is perfect. But after that once you get this uh, step you should realize that this can still be factored. 
that's what uh, you should also do correct you understood yes okay good uh, now let's verify the answer for the uh, next question sixth question yes that's why I'm asking you Okay, the hint is a squared minus b squared. Yeah, what is that you said? I thought I might have to find the square of the I mean, square of 256. Okay. Yes, that is right. You have to find the square root of 246. But similarly, can you find the square root of m power 4? What is the square root of m power 4? Uh, m power 2 m. Square root of m power 2? Uh, okay, m power 2. Okay, that is m squared? Yeah. Okay, uh, I know... Uh, uh, I could understand that uh, you uh, you are able to realize this. Let me do this one. This is equal to, I can write down the m power 4. First, let me uh, try to write down in, uh, in the form like this, in the power form. Is this correct? Minus of this, I can write down as 16 square. Okay. m squared squared. We know this uh, uh, power rules, right? In exponents, we study this. a power n again raised to the power of m and these two will get multiplied okay so similarly m power 4 i have so suppose if you take the square of m squared m squared i have again i am taking the square which means these two will get multiplied 2 into 2 is 4 which means m power 4 so basically m power 4 can be written as square of m squared or it's nothing but you just have to find how i uh, how i have actually written this uh, if you want to think of how I have actually written this, you can think of like taking the square root. If you take the square root, then you have to write on m power 4 is basically nothing but m times of m times of m times of 4 times, right? Here it is m power 4, so I am writing m like this. But if it is like m power 10, uh, no need to write like 10 times. You can write it in a different way. So for these two terms, I have to take one m common, one m out of the square root. And for these two m's, I can take one m out of the... Uh, square root. So then I will get m out of the square root times for this m square root, uh, out of the square root and finally I will have only 1 here inside the square root. Square root of 1 is 1. So this is basically nothing but m square. So this way also you can write. So once you find out the square root of uh, this m power 4 is m squared then you have to write down as it is nothing but m squared and then squared. Okay. Like suppose if you have been given uh, let, let's say 36 you immediately write it is nothing but square of 6, right? Because you know the square, square root of 36 is 6. So that is why you are immediately writing 6 squared. Similarly, now that you, you if you are not clear, you can do this uh, exercise. And then you come to know that uh, the square root of m power 4 is m squared. So you can immediately write m squared squared. as like we are doing for the numbers. Okay? Okay. Good. Okay. So now let's proceed. It is, we are not completed. So this is going, again I'm going to, now I'm going to use this a squared minus b squared. So this represents a now and this whatever I have inside the bracket and this represents b now. Okay. So let me do this. If that is the case, a plus b that is m squared plus 16 and then m squared minus 16. Are we done? Can you see if you are done? Is this the final factor uh -huh. form? Look at look at this only this factor. How does it look like? Can we still reapply this a squared minus b squared? We can still reapply, right? Okay. I complete this. So this is this uh, we cannot further factorize. So this we leave it as it is. Uh, so this uh, m squared minus 16 is. I can write down this as m squared minus of 4 squared. Okay, 
So again, this only this factor, this factor is in the form of a squared minus b squared. So I can write down this as this. I keep on writing the same thing. Here I can apply the a squared minus b squared identity where my a equal to m and b equal to 4. So I can write down this as a plus b that is m plus 4 and then a minus b is m minus 4. So this is the final factor form of the given uh, expression, algebraic expression. For m power 4 minus 246, the factors are m plus 4, m minus 4 and m squared minus plus 16. Understood? So we have to find out the values of a and b. How we can, how we are going to find out the values of a and b? Now we know that uh, a plus b is replaced as pi. So let's take this one. Let's write down like this: a plus b equal to five, and a b equal to six. So what does this indicate? This indicate if a and b, a and b are two numbers or two integers, some of the two integers are five. And product of the integers are six. So which combination of numbers will give uh, will give me this result? I have to think of some numbers, some integers. Suppose if I think of like uh, let's say five and uh, five and one. Let's say if this is yes. Okay, but you can also think of like this. Let, let's do some mistakes here before we uh, got the what we said is correct. Let's let's say uh, if this is possible. Five plus one is. Uh, 5 plus 1 is 6, but here we want f some of these two five. should be 5, so it is not this one. 5 times 1 is also 5. Multiply, when you multiply also we are not, so this is not the correct one. Maybe you can think of this one. The another mistake or another possibility is 6, 1. The product is 6. If you multiply these two, I get 6. But if I add these two, I am getting 7. But I want 5. So then according to what you said, it is 2 and 3. Because if you add 2 plus 3, you get 5. If you product 2 and 3, you get 6. So it satisfies this condition. This is exactly a condition. It has to. So the numbers that you are going to find, it should definitely meet this condition, which is these two numbers exactly meet these two conditions. So now I know what is A. This A can be 2 and B can be 3. It's vice versa. You can say A equal to 3 or B equal to 2 also. That is... That's not that uh, that much important. Sir. Hello? Yeah, the least common multiple. Least common multiple. Yeah. Least common multiple. Why why do we have to find least common multiple? We just found the numbers, right? Sir, should we do it higher than other number or? Uh, yeah, you need to do it with some trial method only. We have to write down this okay. equation and then think of which new, which two numbers can satisfy this condition. Okay. 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 So then I'm going to write down this in this one. So now I know what is A and what is B. A is 2, B equals 3. Or you can say otherwise, you can say A equal to 3 and B equal to 2, vice versa. That's that's okay. That's not a problem. So therefore this is, I have this, I have this side. Okay. If I have this side uh, according to the identity, this is identical to this one. So same way, I'm going to write down, this should be identical to this one. So it is the factor form. And the next step, I can write down this as x plus 2 times of x plus 3. Understood? That's it.